Thanks a lot. Yeah, my name is Adam Fink. I work for an organization called Invisible Children, and I'm really excited to be here uh, today to talk about our project, the LRA Crisis Tracker. Uh, this is a project that was uh, created in collaboration between Invisible Children and DC-based advocacy group Resolve, who are also uh, here today. And it was built by a design firm, Digitaria. And the goal of this project from the outset was to create a tool that would bring an unprecedented level of transparency into Africa's longest running conflict, a conflict that was uh, perpetrated by this man, Joseph Kony, and his group, the Lord's Resistance Army, or LRA, who for 26 years have been terrorizing Central Africa, uh, abducting children to replenish their ranks, and cutting off the lips and ears of anyone who would speak out against them. The incident that really uh, sparked this project for us happened in December of 2009 in the area of Makombo in northeastern Congo. The LRA entered this area and committed a massacre for four days, uh, looting, abducting, killing, burning villages, and when all was said and done, 321 people had been killed, 80 people had been abducted, and community after community had no early warning that this was going to happen. The international community didn't find out about these events for three months. And that was largely due to what you're seeing here, a triple, triple layer canopy jungle and communities that are completely isolated from one another with no cell phone service uh, to connect them to each other. And so when we looked at what we were up against in creating this tool, we really came up with three major goals for this project. And the first, we wanted to have uh, actionable information, uh, information that would help drive a better humanitarian response. Secondly, we looked at mainstream awareness. We wanted to bring this tool uh, into the public as much as possible to heighten the profile of this conflict. And third, uh, real-time data, which is no easy feat uh, in this particular scenario. And so when we looked at inspiration for this project, we really found it in the Nike model and in Nike's uh, unique ability to be able to create a tool, to be able to create equipment that's made for the pros, but that is accessible enough uh, to be able to permeate the mainstream. And so with that in mind, we, we started creating the Crisis Tracker, uh, a tool made for the professionals, but that is uh, sleek enough, accessible enough, and most importantly, story-driven to be able to engage the public. And we knew that we could only do that uh, if this tool was uh, it focused on real-time or near real-time data. And so about a year ago, Invisible Children started a project with our local Congolese partners uh, to, to extend a series of high-frequency radios in remote communities in Congo. And to date, there are 25 communities linked into this uh, system, each with security forces uh, in their communities, and each of the operators trained in human rights reporting. These reports uh, twice daily uh, go into a central hub, and from there, each of these incidents are entered into a central database on the Salesforce CRM platform. Incidents uh, from this radio are combined with UNOCHA reports and other NGO reports, and incidents that meet our verification criteria are then mapped directly onto the tool itself. And here it is, the LRA Crisis Tracker. And so, for the first time in 26 years of this conflict, we have the ability uh, to be able to show LRA attacks in near real time. Uh, what once took three weeks or even three months can now be available in as little as three hours. And we really tried to emphasize the timeliness of this tool. Um, we added a ticker at the top, uh, a live Twitter feed at the bottom to be able to share this information. And for the practitioners, we wanted to make sure that this tool was as useful as possible, so we put a lot of emphasis on the map itself. This is a flash-based map that was created by Digitaria in Tile Mill, and we gave them every uh, public and private data set imaginable uh, from, from uh, rivers and waterways, roads and paths, tens of thousands of communities to create what we feel is the uh, most comprehensive publicly available map of Central Africa to date. And to be able to get as much public engagement on this tool as possible, we really focus on the storytelling aspect. So we've embedded uh, videos and photos from the field into these incidents uh, to personalize the story. We also have an iPhone application that is free and available for download. Uh, and so it's been really interesting for me to be able to see this tool in action. About a month ago, uh, we received a report over the uh, high-frequency radios that 17 women and children surrendered, uh, escaped from the LRA. And within 30 minutes of publishing this information on the crisis tracker, 
uh, we had UN and humanitarian groups in our compound helping to facilitate the return home of these women and children. So we consider all of this part of uh, phase one of the project. And as we look to phase two, we're really excited to consider a better analysis, specifically predictive analysis, looking at things like weather patterns, uh, population movement in relation to LRA atrocities. We also want to further uh, look at Central African Republic early warning systems there uh, and, and increase the two-way communication. We would be uh, interested to talk with any of you in this room to help make that possible. Thank you very much.